It's Miss Lady Petal here for my video log for this week. Uh, I have quite a few things that I want to talk about today and share with you. But I'm going to start off with a beautiful, beautiful gift that Kerry Ann Cowan has sent me in the mail. And I said that I would open it on my vlog. And like how cute is this little tag? And she goes, Dear Peter, just a little something made with love, especially for you. Merry Christmas, love, Carrie Ann. What a gorgeous girl. Love you, darling. So, here we go. So, she said it's all handmade. I have no idea what it is. So, let's open it up. And I'm loving the cord, by the way, Carrie Ann. I'll have to save that and reuse it in something. I love presents. <laughs> oh, it looks a bit gorgeous. Sneak them back to them bubble wrap. Because, you know, these things are a bit precious, aren't they? that let me find out okay so this is Carrie Ann's little book that she sent me and I just want to show you it's bound very very well I'm really impressed with the job that she's done but it's essentially a little pocket book so it has like little things that you can flip out um, pockets that you can write on or stick photos on you can everything is like a pull out thing and she's done it in all these gorgeous papers and I love earthy tones so she's done it in all these like there's so all these cards and they all pull out and I'm like that's an awesome idea I already have a bit of an idea about what I'm gonna do with this um, and each page is similar, so so yeah. So each page is similar, but done differently. So it's individual, done in different ways, and it's like this would have taken an absolute age to do honey but it's just a whole heap of beautiful pages with pockets that you can write stuff in and put stuff in and tuck stuff in so it's almost like a bit of a junky um you know like a smash book type style thing i like the idea of because it's not just pages but things that you pull out and you can stick things on and write things in I actually have and there's all these beautiful wooden embellishments all the way along and I'm absolutely in love with the different design for each of these like here's another different one again there's pockets coming in the side and out and then flip ups with all different materials and everything's beautifully edged and finished off and just gorgeous 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 with the either a metal embellishment or a little wooden embellishment and the so 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 pretty it reminds me of like flip out um photo break books um but she's even got these beautiful metal um corners on them that have been glued on on the front and some homemade rolled paper beads and little just the little finishing touches are really really sweet honey and I love this but I actually have an idea for this and I think Carrie Ann if you have a video camera you should do a YouTube video or a paid class on this because this is awesome um, and and I also have an idea so I got a book that talks about a thousand blessings and I thought to myself wouldn't it be interesting when I first saw this with all the little cards to start writing, writing down 
all the things that we are thankful for so that when you pull that out it you can either write the date and write something in and write on the surface maybe even put photos in and do something like that and then chronicle it right to the end and see how the project goes and then that'll be a little book of gratitude I love that idea I will talk to Kerry Ann about to see you know what her actual intention for this is because she didn't say it on her little note she just wanted some feedback on it and wanted to bless me for Christmas and Kerry Ann you achieved your goal I feel dutifully blessed and um, that's so gorgeous and thank you so much for thinking of me I love it love it love it and I like it is so cute and small and compact and gorgeous so thank you so much my darling that is wonderful wonderful okay so just wanted to announce um, for 2015 I'm doing a charity for Destiny Rescue and <clears throat> This is a charity, because I'm all about um, people helping themselves. Like people who have had a really bum rap, grown up in poverty, um, don't have the means or the opportunity to do something for themselves to make themselves self-sufficient. That's what I'm kind of getting at. So a friend of mine, Lisa Tees, has um, embarked on selling... Uh, jewelry for Destiny's Rescue and I've put a, photo, a couple of photos up on my Instagram I have a chunky watch that goes with them but I have two of these labels here and here we go let me just turn them around so you can see them on the watch right and I have two leather ones here these were $10 each and what they are they're made by girls who have been rescued from the, se the sex a slave trade in Asia and they get given new names and they then make jewelry and the sales of that jewelry around the world goes to fund the home that they live in and give them a new life and the ability to then go on meet someone have family and be self-sufficient and this is something that I'm very passionate about so in 2014 I was doing chickens for widows in India in 2015 I'm going to be doing jewelry for um, you know women that are and girls and young young girls that have been rescued from the sex slave trade in Asia and this is helping them this is their industry where they're making things for themselves but if it doesn't sell well then they, they don't have an incentive to stay out of the sex trade and then they get disillusioned and then they feel like they have no option but they've got to go back in so it's a really important industry to be able to support these girls and I really 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 think that I love the idea that you give something and then you get something back and so for me I went for the the, the funky chunky look and uh, got myself a watch to go with it because I'll be wearing these throughout and all different bracelets and jewellery from Destiny's Rescue in 2015 but they have a website so it, I get them from a local girl who sells them but you can order this jewellery online at destinyrescue.org and I will put the link up during this section of the vlog so that if you and the link will be in the description below so if you want to have a look at this year I spent I think over a hundred like about a hundred dollars and I bought so much stuff some things are five dollars some things are ten some are thirteen some are fifteen there's nothing really over that fifth yeah fifteen and they have beautiful and depends what materials are being used in it and work I mean this particular one here you might actually think that this is cloth but it's plaited leather thongs and they're tiny and they're gorgeous 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 and I love it and this one here is just leather straps and it has a lovely and I pick these because I love the buttons and I can take photos of them and really it shows who they are now each of these items um, when the girls go into these safe homes they 
are given a new name and each of the items that these girls like to make because they make what they like to make they have the girl's name the the new name so one of these is called rugged and one of these is called brave so those are their like code names one's brave one's rugged and I love that but there are some that are Haley and some that are um, Oh, Abby and you know like there's and you know that that's the code name for the girl that made made the item of jewelry so I absolutely adore that so that's just a peek into what I'm doing in 2015 and I love the fact that I can just direct people to go to a website and who knows then what my reach will be you know like it's not something that I'm going out and and doing I mean honestly if there are people nearby me and they want to come I can make some jewelry available at events that I do and am at but other than that you know you can just go to the website and go online and order this stuff and I love the fact that you can do that and you don't have to be dependent upon another person to exercise some generosity there but if you do I want to start a hashtag on Twitter or Facebook where you take a photo of yourself with the destiny rescue jewelry and I'll start that campaign in 2015 I love it let's promote destiny rescue in 2015 and get as many women out of the sex slave trade as possible that's that's what it is for me in 2015 i love it okay now on a little bit of a sad note a lot of you will have followed the siege in sydney and more and more details are coming out about the type of person that did that and youtube videos that were he made hostages um film but the media didn't show during the siege and you know two people two hostages lost their life one in very heroic circumstances where he wrestled with the gunman um, and five uh, three three hostages escaped the first time and then he was savagely beaten by the gunman after that and then at around 2 a.m. when the siege came to its zenith, the gunman was do starting to doze and fall asleep and the gun slipped off his shoulder. This is according to an eyewitness account. The gun slipped off his shoulder and then he wrestled for the gun and that's when he was shot. Um, but another 12, uh, another 8 got out at that point. And then another, and then the gunman started seriously shooting and shot another hostage. And um, then the police came in and shot him. And there was four wounded and a policeman shot in the face. And he was wounded, but he's been released. And there's this massing outpouring of grief and um, flowers that are happening in Martin Place in Sydney at the moment. And like anyone uh, who's visited Sydney, you most likely would have gone to Martin Place. Some of the really good things that have come out of this are the I'll Ride hashtag, I'll Ride With You campaign, which was sparked by, there was a Muslim woman in a hijab who was um, feeling so frightened by the fact that she was going to be persecuted on a train in Sydney for wearing that that she took it off and started crying and was really really distraught a girl saw her uh, and followed her out of the train and said you know put it back on if that's what you believe you shouldn't be persecuted because you want to wear a head headwear and i'll walk with you i'll ride with you i'll walk with you and the muslim woman with tears coursing down her face hugged that girl back for about a minute and said thank you so much and then walked off and there was a girl then that saw these posts and then went I wonder how many other people how many other people of the Muslim faith uh, don't feel safe with traveling and she started a hashtag I'll ride with you and it went viral on the day of the siege and the day after but the sentiment in our country at the moment is one of solidarity and one of do not persecute those of a different religion to you. 
That makes us no better than ISIL or ISIS that wants to create a caliphate in the whole world and kill everyone that doesn't believe what they believe. And how then are we better than them if we don't show that that we care about people no matter what their religion is? So one of the things that's been going through my mind over and over and over and I know with the Christmas carols that I just put up where I was singing that <clears throat> my voice wasn't very loud and it was quite difficult to actually hear me because we were singing SATB or four part harmonies for those carols that I was singing so I thought I would sing something to you that encapsulates the mood of Australia at the moment and that is the chorus of a song that was written by the Seekers and it has many verses that talk about the history of Australia and some of the trauma that we've gone through in this country and how as a nation we opened our doors to all different cultures and countries and that has made us a much greater and better nation today and this and the chorus of that song goes like this we are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come, we share a dream, and sing with one voice, I am you. We are Australian and that for me has been going over and over and over in my head the last couple of days and I can't stop singing it in the car when I'm kind of not even thinking about what I'm doing and I just thought well I'll share it with you all because this week has been a somber week um, for us in Australia and we if you believe in the innate goodness of mankind, then you would be saddened. Just like when horrible, just like today when I heard that there was 140 children massacred by the Taliban at a Pakistani school in Pakistan. Uh, my heart bled because there has been so much world focus on two people dying at a siege in Sydney and 140 children have just been massacred in Pakistan by the Taliban and I just think I don't care what religion you are and Christianity itself has been has a shocking history of just killing people in the name of their religion over thousands of years right I don't care who you are and what you believe in the sanctity of human life is um, paramount in all religions and that is something that all of us really need to think about so enough of the maudlin and the introspective and the <laughs> and the and the um, I just think it had to be said. Uh, this vlog is about me sharing with you parts of myself that are not not always funny. They're not always about silliness or um, the humorous side of my life. And sometimes they're about serious crap that goes on in the world and that I feel like I want to talk about it. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at this week and uh, I look forward to Christmas coming up because it's starting to infect me now the whole um, excitement of my little nieces and nephews about Christmas and the planning and the really 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 crowded shopping centers like Ah, how, how long do I have to wait for a parking space? No, how long? <laughs> I just think, no, no, no. <laughs> I had to, you know, funny, funny, funny. So I had to go to the shops this morning because I ran out of laundry powder and I desperately need to do washing. And 
I thought to myself, oh great, Christmas shopping. Why didn't I get this last week when it was still quiet? So I went down and of course I go to my shopping centre and there's no car parks. No. So you have to go in this endless, endless loop where you wait for someone to come out or you wait for someone and you follow someone to their car and you wait there and hope that nobody else will steal your car park because it is really yours. You're not in it yet, but it's yours. You've bagged it. It's yours. <laughs> so I played that game for about 25 minutes this morning just to get soap powder. So then I decided I would stock up on a few other things, important things like hmm, toilet paper because don't want to have to make another trip for that. <laughs> And finished off some kids Christmas stocking and presents and yeah so I'm getting there I'm getting there checked PO boxes for uh, numerous uh, blitzy orders and packages arriving from overseas and there was nothing there. big sad face <laughs> big sad face so I'm still checking my PO box every day, but thankfully that car park is never completely full and packed out because it's just the local like shops. So I'm like, people kind of get in there and get out. They don't stay there and shop for two hours because they've got nowhere to shop for two hours. So that's really, I'm really thankful. I'm really, really thankful I have corner shops with a post office in it. <laughs> They do that where it's not completely packed out and you can just go to the supermarket or even a gift shop or the post office or a restaurant or a cafe or something, you know, and you, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> so, ciao for Miss Lady Petal this week and uh, I'll catch you next week.